What's up, everybody? It's Scott Tercy, owner of, Cad owner of CadDesignHelp.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, check out my online course, uh, The Engineering Preneur, where you can learn to quit your job as a corporate engineer and uh, be a freelancer and an entrepreneur like myself and work your own hours. All right, so today we're going to go over how to design a parking lot in a quarter uh, circle area, in a 90 degree area. So my client came to me with this basic sketch, which is, you know, something that you're always going to need from your client. And he defined it pretty well. So I'll go over the basics here. There's like seven rows of these parking spots. Now it's critical that the minimum distance is 10 feet. And we're going to always start on the x axis here. Um, so what you're going to see is that this angle is going to decrease. So I'll do the next row here to show you. So we're going to insert a line here. All right. All these spots the same length. So we're going to make equal the previous which is uh they're all um 20 feet right 20 feet long and they're 20 feet between so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another equal this guy okay now we want um if i better do it this way do a center line from here Going out, and we want it on three point arc. All right, so there, there, all right, it's going to stop here. This point is going to be on the line, and then we're going to make the other side of the parking spot. Linear, and then what we do is we make it it's all about being 10 feet so the angle is going to change but it's always going to be 10 feet there you go you have to get it just right with that all right so equals this guy all right so it's 10 feet I want this to be the same length as that equal all right, make that construction. And then um, the last thing is to calculate how many spots. So the best way to do it is to get this number here in two decimal places is fine. All right, then we're going to do circular pattern. The center point there. All right, pick that line. Not do equal spacing. We're going to do this amount, 3.23. It's going to be negative. I'll just reverse it. It always goes, it always guesses the wrong way. SolidWorks loves to guess the wrong way every time. All right. And then we're just going to keep hitting the plus button here on the number until we get to the end. So. Okay, so see, this last one doesn't quite fit. He needs 10 feet minimum. So we're going to just reduce it to 27 lines. Okay. Now, these lines are blue. I don't know why SolidWorks does this. I'm going to hit save real quick because the program loves the crash. If it's blue, it means you can move it. And so when I move this, I realize that this point is not, even though I picked that point, it's not, not actually there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go here, hold down control, go there, coincident, and now everything is totally constrained. And we just got to do, I think, three more rows, and then we'll finish up this uh, parking lot drawing. 